Cidrat or citron, with the botanical name Citrus medica, is known to be the oldest citrus fruit we know. It seems that it was already available in Europe as early as the 4th century before Christ. It was probably domesticated more than 2000 years ago from wild citrus plants in Eastern and Southern Asia. In Indian it was already present long before. Cedrat is a small thorny tree with purple and white flowers. The amazingly large fruit looks like a big lemon. It is yellow to greenish with a very thick rind. Commercially, cedrat or citron, as it is also called, is mainly used for its rind. The rind is separated from the fruit and usually used as candies in a sugar solution. Today, cedrat is mainly cultivated in Corsica, Sicily, Greece and also the Caribbean islands. The essential oil of cedrat is expressed from the rind, used mainly in perfumery. In aromatherapy, it is known for its stomachic and digestive properties. Also for its soothing antidepressant, antiseptic qualities and for skin and hair care. Since the oil is photosensitizing, it should not be used directly on the skin if direct exposure to sunlight follows the application. Blending with 10 to 20% in a carrier oil is recommended. Cedrat acts effectively on the circulatory, the lymphatic and the venous system. Hence, it is interesting to use it in case of heavy legs and water retention. Athletes also use it to combat joint pain. And not to forget, cedrat is known as a strong calming oil for the nervous system. For beauty care, thanks to its purifying and cleansing action, Cedrat essential oil acts on facial stains, red spots and acne. The oil has strong effects also particularly against digestive toxins and parasites. It carries with it the amazing impact of the sun-spoiled citrus genus with its numerous fruits and essential oils. Today we know better than ever Essential oils are the result of a cosmic interaction of plants with the sun. They, and foremost the citrus group, represent thermic or heat energies. The anthroposophic writer Wilhelm Pelikan says this here. In the citrus fruits and their oils, the aromatic process is no longer subtly perfuming and intoxicating as in the flower, nor oscillating, suspended as in the leaves, but refreshing, revitalizing, it makes man more conscious. In Ayurvedic terms, this is the influence of Agni, the omnipresent cosmic fire present also in man. We can also say the life force, an organizer of intelligence in matter. In terms of this understanding, the thermic energies of the cosmos, mainly sunlight, also moonlight and starlight, of course, first act in our human physiology upon the thermic organism in us and its spiritual counterpart in us, which organizes and directs it, namely the inner self, the inner light or Atma. Cosmic energies interact with the space-time destiny of Mother Earth in different ways, that is, the heat of spring is different, of course, from the heat of summer, of autumn or of winter. Also, the temperatures of the Central European areas, for example, are different, of course, from those of the tropics or the subtropical areas. In this perspective, all essential oils are the direct result of a strong ordering balancing process which stems from the special thermic or solar influence onto the plant. Towards the polar areas, the sun's radiation maintains a maximum of cosmic purity. Towards the tropics, his radiation becomes more earthly. The development of essential oils and plants corresponds to these patterns of diversified radiation of sunlight according to seasons, stellar positions, 
latitudes, altitudes, also environment, etc. Rudolf Steiner has specifically associated the citrus family with the subtropical sun and its warming, life-uplifting nature. The perfume of a plant and its essential oil, thus, is an echo of the different characters or qualities of cosmic light, each fragrance representing a different color or different version of the heat spectrum available on Mother Earth. The sunny nature of essential oils, specifically of the citrus oils, is certainly one reason why people feel so much attracted to aromatherapy in the northern countries, and even more so during the long winter months. Fragrance has always been an expression of the cosmic radiation of warmth and heat. Already the Greek philosopher Theophrastus of Eresos wrote, the best and the most fragrant of all curative elements comes from the sunny regions. Plants, and especially medicinal plants, are thus playing with light, one can say. Every flower of them adores and needs the light of the sun. They are sun bathers, we can say, or sun catchers. Opening up to the cosmos as the final result of light absorption of their green forerunners, the leaves, of which they are nothing else than a more colorful astral transformation or metamorphosis, as the famous poet and plant researcher Johann Wolfgang von Goethe had already stated more than 200 years ago. The strong use of citrus oils in the perfumery and food industry today, and particularly in aromatherapy, has certainly to do with this sunny and joyful character of the citrus group. <laughs>